Okay, folks, I thought I'd uh, like to do a video today about some truck stop etiquette. Now, I pulled in here and parked just so I could run in and use the bathroom. Um, one of the things I noticed as soon as I pulled in the parking lot was the fact that drivers are flying around the parking lot. Don't do that. There's people walking around. You know, you, you, you don't want to accidentally run over somebody. Um, so here are my here are my top five of truck stop etiquette. Now I'm sure there's more, but these are my top five. Number one, when you come into the truck stop, slow down. You should not be going more than five to seven miles an hour through the truck stop. The reason I say that is, is people walking around to come out from in between the trucks, and you can run over them very easily. Number two, don't be right up on somebody as you come into the truck stop. This individual might be coming in to do their 10 hour break and they might be looking for a parking spot. And if you're right up on them and they find a parking spot, now they can't get in the parking spot because you're right up on them. That leads to number three. If you see somebody bagging up into a parking spot, don't go behind them. Don't drive behind them. Now you just now you just asking for trouble. Um, if someone is bagging up, a lot of times they're not paying attention to what's going on in the rest of the truck stop. They are focused on bagging into their spot. So it behooves you to give them that three to five minutes so they can back into that spot and understandably we got a swifty swift out here that could take up to 30 minutes to get into a spot i understand but it behooves you to give them that time to do that instead of spending thousands of dollars to get a truck fixed and hours down with the truck down in the shop number four if you come into a truck stop to take your 30 minute break, please do not do so in the fuel aisle. Please go and find a parking spot in an actual parking spot, not off to the side to where you're blocking the lane of traffic coming in and out of the truck stop. Not in front of the fuel island so that if people get the fuel behind you, now they can't get out. That leads to my top number five. My top number five is people in the fuel island, you fueled your truck, now you're using the squeegee to wash your truck. The squeegee is not there for you to wash your truck. The squeegee is there for you to wash your windshield and your windows. And if you go and wash your truck with all the salt and grime and everything else that we can find up here in the Northeast, the next person that goes to wash their windshield now has salt and grime on their windshield. Don't do that. If you really need to go wash your truck, right, go to one of these shippers and receivers that has a water hose on the side of the building and ask them if you can rinse your truck off. Seriously, a lot of times these shippers and receivers will gladly allow you to do that. Some of them won't. Understandably, we've got some out here that are buttheads. So that is my video for today. I just thought that uh, I would come up in here because I, you know, I pulled into the truck stop really quickly to go use the potty because I'm about two miles from where I, my customer is that I got to go pick up from and uh, I just thought I'd share because I have seen some crazy stuff here lately so y'all new drivers please listen to what I'm saying uh, you know we are all in a hurry we all have deadlines that, that we are trying to fulfill be respectful, okay? The only way we get through this is if we're all respectful to each other. Cutting each other off, driving like a madman through the truck stop, driving
driving like a madman, banging up into a spot, is just going to cause problems later on down the road. All right, bicycle.